Good morning guys and welcome back to iPunch Smart. Today we're looking at some editor's picks and we have 51 of them all in total. So uh, let's get going. Um, we start off with uh, some hockey and uh, Slovi Slovakia League 1 at 12 o'clock. Um, clearly you can see hockey um, somewhere between 1.67 and 3.1 ahead and a 60% chance to win for Topolkani. Then in Russia at 4 o'clock uh, you can see the wave is going up uh, most recently at 3.33 and that's uh, over the last six games on the RSI a 3.83 to a 0.5 and on the last 20 games on the RSI a 3.29 to a 1.13 so it uh, looks like Dynamo St. Petersburg to beat Perm 18.30 in the Russia KHL um, and this one does look very red away team on this one um, and that would be SKA St. Petersburg versus Dynamo Minsk on the away team the lines is just above for the away team and they have met each other three times where the away team has won three times moving on to Ukraine and in Ukraine again you can see that the head-to-head 1-1-1 one, one, one drawn um, but the most recent one has been won and if I take that momentum off and I move over to the form to, to the one month uh, the last game was a draw by the home team and a, a win by the away team but prior to that home team against Billy Bars 8-0 away team 5-2 so that was a five goal difference and the one before that 23rd of December Krajani Vovko 6-2 win for home team and a draw 2 all for the away team so all in all the RSI has been moving up from 1.87 to 2.05 to 2.22 over the three months 3.1 over two months and most recently over one month uh, home team has won 6 out of 7, away team has won 3 out of 7, with 3 draws and loss, an average score of 5 to 1, or 4.7 to 0 0.7, so it does look like a home win on that one, Donbass against Kramatorsk. Moving to Poland, and in Poland, this one looks pretty good, all home, home to 0 on the blue head-to-head -head line, the momentum, the extension, all going in the same direction and the most recent one moved up to a five that's only on the one game that was just Strivi home team beat them 6-2 away team sorry home team beat them 2-1 away team lost 6-2 going to the two months and that will give you 11 games home team played 11-1-5 uh, drawn 2 lost 4 away team played 8 lost 5 average score 3.4 to 1.76 so it looks like a close but win for Katowice against Sanok in Polish league moving to Hungary and in Hungary Ferencavos um, Ferencavos is a wave is pretty red um, yeah we can look at the one month slight concern that the one month the green momentum the home momentum has moved past the away momentum here on the 28th of December um, but if I go over to the two months then uh, you can see that the away team is uh, ahead on the momentum and the home team is yeah let's take this one out I'm going to deselect this one because you can see this gap is getting smaller and uh, not really worth the risk if uh, if you can see the the home team is playing at home and is improving moving to Switzerland 2045 game tonight Zurich against Rapperspol on this one um, the history is a pretty 
even, 4-3-3, three, three, so home one four, away one four, and three draws. But looking at home only form, home has won three out of five with a draw and loss. And what I like is the most recent five month 0.9 on 54%, four months 0.9 54%, three months 1.18 on 53%, two months 2.96 on 73%, and one month 2.42 on 71%. So it does look like the percentages is uh, moving more towards Zurich and therefore Zurich to beat Rapperswal. In the Swiss League, Switzerland, same applies here. History, 5 out of 6 for Alton and at home, 2 out of 3 and uh, most recent, 2.67. You can see the home team's extensions moving up. And uh, if I look at the two-month graph, the two-month graph home team is above as well. And the three-month graph, uh, same applies. Home team is just staying ahead. So, uh, Alton to beat Ticino. And then the last one, um, before I move over to table tennis, is uh, Ajoy against Visp. And here... Yeah, the momentum on the one month is nice for the home team going up. They, they won well in the last time, 6-0 against GCK Lions on the 2nd of Jan, 30th of December. The away team also played GCK Lions and they beat them 3-1 versus a 6-0 for the home team. So that's decent. And uh, the last eight games, Holmes won 2-4 with a draw. Away's won 2-4 with a draw. Uh, average score 3.25 to 2.25, so only one gap. But going over to the two month, um, the home team has won 8 out of 11. The away team has only won 5 out of 15. So the percentages does favour the home team here, and the average score of 4.96 to 1.36 gives the home team a nice 3.6 cushion which is pretty decent. The same applies on the three-month 3.65 cushion with a 62%, winning 11 out of 15 for home and only 6 out of 20 for away, with an average of 5 to 1.42 against the same opposition, and that opposition being 35 of these matches in total. So quite a nice sample as well. Um, so I'm going to go with home here, even though the history doesn't look great. Uh, you can see the history, one for home, two for draw, two for away. And when they were playing at home, it's uh, three games, one, one, one. But uh, let's a little zoom out a bit over the two-month period. And uh, you, can, you can see the last time these two guys played was uh, back here on the 7th of uh, Jan. 2020, which is uh, almost a year ago, and uh, the away team won that game on that day 2-0, um, but subsequent to that, if you look at the gap year, the gap has actually gone bigger and bigger and bigger, so it's probably a bit of a risky bet as well, but uh, nice odds nonetheless, so Alloy to beat Visp, 51% for Alloy, 33% for, uh, for VISP and a 15% on the draw overall, but these percentages did change recently to some better percentages. Uh, home 57 and on the three months, home 62%. So I'm going to stick to Alloy on that one. I see there's a couple of them gone. Oh, there's only one missing, so one gone, so that's already one. One well, five, five nil actually. Um, yeah, they went up to a nine cushion. Moving on to table tennis, and yeah, lots of games. Start off with uh, Win Cup, and the first one that I've liked is Chopin against Lukander at 830. Um, and the history 7 to 2 with an average score of 2.78 to 1.33 on the head to head. Um, and this wave is consistent throughout. I look at just the one month, the last one month. You can see there's been two head-to-head, -head and both of them won by the home team as well. 
Um, so that looks pretty good. The next one, uh, closer, 6 to 4 on the head to head, but currently the home form went from 0 0.65 over the 4 months, 0 0.48 over the 6 months, 0 0.65 over the 4 months, 0 0.89 over the 3 months. Then it went to 1.35 sets advantage over the two months, and most recently, over the one month, uh, home has now got a 2.08 advantage on the last 10 games played, where home has won three out of six and away has lost four out of four. And the average score has gone up to a 3.19 sets to 1.1 sets and 70%. So a nice 2.08, nice uh, Alexan, Alexenko looks pretty decent there. Um, then Alexenko again, um, same applies, you can see he's gone from 0 0.46 to 0 0.3 to, 0 .3 to, 0 .3 to 2.1 on the one month. Um, so Alexenko looks like he's taking his table tennis a bit more seriously now. So 12 o'clock against Grushko, that's another one in the Win Cup. Um, and then 13.30, the away team player. Uh, again, we're talking Alexenko B. So it looks like Alexenko B is the one that we need to watch in the Win Cup. You can do a, a multiple with Alexenko, Alexenko, Alexenko. Uh, and he looks pretty decent. You can see he's also gone from a 53, sorry, from a 48 to a 53 to a 65 to 89 to a 1.35 to a two set lead. Um, so yeah, Alexenko is definitely the improver in here. Um, and then we look at Shakhtar against Oprisk, and uh, he's a new player. He only started here on the um, 29th of September 2020. And if I look at his start there, he didn't start all that well. He started with the loss on against Lebedev, 3-0. Um, but he's gone, as you can see, clearly gone up and up and was learning well. And most recently, he's won one, two, three, four, five games on the trot, where the away player has won two and lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the away player has lost two out of his, or has won two out of his last ten. I'm oh, sorry, home player has, has won two out of his last ten, and away player has won five out of his last five. So no, needless to say, we're looking at an 87% chance for the away team of Prisk, with uh, winning three out of his last three against the same opposition, home winning one out of five, and average score 0 0.3 against 3.63 gives the away team a three-set advantage on the one month, and also a three-set advantage on the two month with an 80%. So lovely, lovely, lovely little of Prisk here. Um, then moving on, again Shakhtar to lose, this time against Ivchenko, same applies, you can uh, let's just take that extension out so we can see a little bit more, and uh, you can see on the most recent one month, the 1.67 gap um, with the 18 games played, home has won 3 of his 9, and away has won 7 of his 9, Percentages looking at 72% for the away team. Average score 1.25 against 2.29. Um, so yeah, we're also looking pretty decent on the away team. A little bit of a concern here with this last game that's dropped down uh, where the curve has dropped. Um, but in saying that, that one game versus Pleush, we lost 3-1 against Pleush. But the most recent one for Shatire against Pleush, we lost 3-0. So still a one set better result on that glass game, even though it looks like a dip. The game before that, Bortsov, he won away 1-3-0 and home lost 3-2. So that was a four set difference. And this game, yeah, uh, away 1-3-2 and home lost 3-1. So again, a three set difference. So that's why you can see these things. Looks pretty decent for Ifchenko, the red away player. Moving on, same, uh, you can see here a lovely 0 0.4 on the 5 months, 0 uh, 0.04 on the 5 months, 0 0.23 on the 4 months. Then it goes to 0 0.8, 2.5 and 2.7 with 73% now. And if I'm looking at that, you can see why he is on a run of form here with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sculpts, quick succession. 
um, and Bob Prisk to carry on on that momentum to beat Korobenik. Nine seven o'clock tonight, and um, that's our man Oprik yet again, and uh, this time to beat Kostyuk, and he's he's also built up a head of steam, um, where lately he's on a 93% chance to win on the last month, because he's won six out of his last six, where the home team has won one out of his last ten against the same opposition. Average score naught sets to 3.78, so that does look like a 3-0 or a 3-1 victory for Oprisk. In 8 o'clock again, Oprisk is again our man, our man this time against Bazin, and he's also pulled up ahead of steam yet. So you can see another player that's really doing well of late, Oprisk, that uh, has got no losses of recent. He's won 6 out of 6, where home team has won 5 out of 25. Clearly, the away team to win that game, and then Ivchenko to beat Bazin. Also, it's gone up from a 0 0.9 year on the 12 months to currently a 2.2 set advantage for the away team player. There's a bit of a gap dip here on that last game, um, and that was against Pliush. If you hover over it, it'll give you the details. 4th of Jan, Pliush, he lost to Pliush 3 1. But the, the home player also lost to Pryush on the 7th of 12th, a 3-1. Um, so I'm not too concerned about that one game. The one before that, they both played Borzov. Away team beat Borzov 3-0. Home team lost to Borzov 3-1 on the 9th of December and 3-1 on the 4th of Jan. So needless to say, it looks like a wave Chenko to win this one. Then we move to the set cup, cup 840 Kirpun against Buburenko. His most recent form is clearly everything is going home. 4.17 sets advantage and 100% or 4 out of 4 for the, the uh, 6 out of 6 for the home team player. 1 and 4 out of 4 lost for the away team player. So that's why we've moved up to a 4 set advantage, 4.04 to 0.12, which is for 25% is worth in a multiple. Polosensky against Yushko. Again, you can see the head-to-head -head team here. Um, most recent won by the home team player, so the momentum extension goes up. I'll take that off just to look a bit better at the RSI here. You can see the gap is clearly nicely broadening here. Um, and uh, the averages is now at 2.08 or 66% of Polsinski against Yushko. Uh, average 2.9 against 0.84. Then 12.25 in the Setka Cup. Sokoltsov against Melachenko. And uh, here we've moved up to a three set advantage on the one month with a 75% advantage, um, average 3.49 to 0.43, and 6 1 on the head to head history. Uh, Kovalchuk, uh, yeah, the same applies. Uh, you could see uh, Kovalchuk, the head to head was in home advantage. Um, but that's completely changed recently, where the head-to-head -head is now an away advantage of a minus 2.2 um, on the extension. So the away team is definitely getting better. And these are going from 0 0.48 to 8, 0 0.86 to 1.63 to 2.32 advantage on away team player. Average 1.2 to 2.8. So some nice advantages there for away. Here yeah, we're looking at a 72% for Omkienko against Sidorenko. New player, Omkienko. You can see he's only started his lines here. Um, and he's quickly learned uh, because he's, he's gone from a 1.37 on the 5 month, where he was ahead, to a 2.38 on the 1 month being ahead. So, um, he did lose his one game against Sidorenko on the head-to-head, -head, um, and he lost 3-2, and that was here. So, uh, I think 
it looks like today he is uh, going to turn that around and win 3-2 for Honor Kienko. To win 3-2 is at 4.5, so I think it's going to be a close game, but I think away is going to win this time. 10 past 5, this is again a sea of red that goes bigger on the waves. Currently at 2.3 on the one month, 57% um, on Voitenko. TT Cup, 8.50 being the first game. Away team, um, bit, of a, bit of a dip here, up and down, up and down. As you see, the percentages went slightly towards the home player, 50.4, 50.9. Brought it back to the away player, back to the home player. And most recently on the two month, the away player is now got 61% advantage. And on the one month, he actually brought it up to an 81% advantage. Since he's won six out of his last eight games with an, the oh, home team player on a bit of a Christmas break, lost three out of three. Average score 0.06 against 3.65. Does put firmly in the charge of Zarski on the, the last month's form alone. Um, and here we've got the MVP for me on the day, 10.35, and you can see why. Um, it's a 50% return with 15 out of 15 on the MIG, so not a single point of any of the 15 indicators is showing home team. Every single one of them is showing away team. The one month RSI is showing an advantage of 3.24 sets for the away team player. And a 90% chance since home has lost 3 out of 3 this month. And away has won 6 out of 7. Average score 0.43 to 3.67. And yet you still are getting a 50% return. Which is uh, quite remarkable. Because based on that, a 90% chance to win. And a 50% return. Clearly uh, it's well worth the value at 10.35. Zenuk to beat... Mickey Duke against the, in the TT Cup. And then quarter past two. Um, let's just see one to throw into your multiples. Um, maybe not even worthwhile, but um, the gap is clearly everything away. Three out of three for away. Um, so, Vakalenko to be Drutsky again. Liga Pro 11.30. 40% on Liga Pro 11.30. 2.11. Um, on the one month recently, 58 gone up to 70%, and on the one month, a three set to one advantage for Bocharev against Rotkin, uh, 11.30 men Liga Pro. Then uh, 7.30 tonight, um, you can see the head to head is clearly everything 15 out of 16 matches for home Balakan to beat Chernov, um, so he's always got his measure. Uh, average score 2.8 against 0.56. Um, most recently, it's been consistent. These two is consistent as 1.04 to 1.1 to 1.18 to 1.16. Very close, very same. These guys knows each other, and it looks like Chernov has uh, pretty much accepted the fact that he's losing to Polakin every time. Then we're going over to women. Table tennis, and in the first one here, um, Rafikova in the Women Win Cup 1530 has built up a head of steam recently from 0.69 to 1.26 to 1.47 to 2.69 currently, um, and the 2.6 to 1.34 in the three months has changed into a 3.26 to 0.57 on the one month sets. So Rafikova at 1530. And at 18.30, it's Rafikova again this time, uh, this, this, well, again against the Yushkevich. So to beat, it's just a complete turnaround opposite, so they mirror each other. You can see the 0 0.26 and 0 0.49 turns into a minus 0 0.26 and a minus 0 0.49. So it's the same opposition, it's just Rafikova to beat her twice. And then Gordon Skaya at 61%. Now this is a lovely 61%. Um, and it's probably because of the head-to-head -head being, being 6 for home and 8 for away. But if you look at the most recent one-month RSI, the away team player Gordon Skaya has won 12 out of 18. 
and the home team has won 11 out of 32. So 1.04 gives 2.82. Uh, it looks like Gorinskaya has uh, got the advantage here by 1.78 sets and a 62% chance on the one month RSI for a 61% return. Uh, there's a couple that's finished already now. Uh, and I see we're going well, all of them won. So it was shirts off, clearly everything is red here. 15 indicators. Yeah, the wave went green. 14 out of 15 indicators, that one 61% and uh, the most recent one month is a 2.8 set advantage, so that's clearly, and then there was another one here, 53% on the bar, the wave also going from 0.42 advantage to a 1.19 set advantage most recently. So those games, unfortunately, you've missed already, but that's the beauty. You've got 70-odd matches in, t in total for one day on the greenies and the editor's picks and the value picks and all the rest. So that was table tennis gone. Now we're moving over to football, and I see we've already gone 26 minutes, so I'll try and keep it quick. Um, first one is Bermuda, Robin Hood, to beat Somerset. Um, it does... There's been a bit of a break over Christmas, but it does look like Robin Hood has Somerset's measure, has won three out of the four on the head-to-head, -head. and most recently on the three months, a three goal advantage, minus 0.25 against 2.75. Next one, Spain woman, the Granadilla Tenerife women's team to beat Deportivo La Coruña, as you can see here, the waves looks good. Um, Ethiopia Premier League and here we are looking at Sabeta City to beat Jima Abba Jafar at 2 o'clock this afternoon and this is pretty solid on the two um, it's been a little bit of a break Sabeta City last time played 18th of December where Jima Abu has played on the 1st of Jan but even that being said Sabeta City won their game 3-1 against Hawassa, where Jimmy Abba, Jima Abba Jafur has only got a draw. So we can move that on to the two months and you can see the, um, the there's not been a whole lot of activity, but enough activity to suggest that home Sabeta City should win this game. Then England National League, we are going over to Maidstone against Dulwich Hamlet and here we have clearly a red wave for the away team um, Maidstone of most recent you can see the averages is not very great here on the overall side 39% for Maidstone so they probably get some good odds on here um, and uh, maybe go for the double chance even Maidstone or the draw but I do think Maidstone is the right team here then we go to Scotland and we in the Lowland League at quarter to ten tonight where all of these is clearly showing for green you can see this uh, bit of a wedge moving bigger the gap getting bigger for civil service strollers to beat Edinburgh University um, and then we're going to tennis ITF men doubles team Manacor Mallorca, Spain on the hard courts at half past three this afternoon um, and it looks like the team, the away team of Adit and Bellier um, looks the stronger team with the most recent five months of three set advantage and 80% probability. Pretty, pretty clear cut that that looks like a good team for the tennis away and then we've got basketball Basketball, Turkey Super League, the first one. Um, all of this looks very red on month on month. Percentages looks good. So Anadolu FS in Turkey to beat Gaziantep. Bahrain, half past five, half past four actually. You'll miss it if it's half past five. Um, Seventy percent on the overall, hundred percent on the last month. 37 points advantage on the last month for Al Halal. Croatia, 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 home team again. 
Um, they've got a nice 16 to 23 advantage here on points, and uh, it stays in the 60% here. So Zadar to beat Oshchek. Um, and then baseball, Cuba. The first one, 8 o'clock tonight. So lots of time to rest before you can make your money. And here we're looking at uh, Pinar del Rio to beat Holquin. Um, you can see the red team is going down quicker than the home team. They've both been a bit of a dip on the one month. On the two month, uh, it's reasonably close. But uh, the home team has got an advantage of 3.76. Um, over 26 games, the home team won 15 uh, um, and lost 11. And the away team played the same opposition and only won 10, lost 20. And the scores is also looking good, 6.68 for home and 2.92 for away. So home's got a 3.76 cushion, which is quite a big cushion um, in the sport of baseball. So, uh, yeah, we do believe that Pinar del Rio should win that game. Um, then the same Cuba City National League. And in the Cuba City National League, um, the most recent was an absolute annihilation, minus 1.29 on the five games here, on the one month, away one, two of their three, oh, sorry, home one, two of, uh, one, one of their three, lost two of their three, and away has won both their games, but look at the average score, is uh, uh, 9.8 versus minus 1.29, so that's an 11 goal advantage on the one month suggesting that Santiago de Cuba is quickly getting better so uh, for them to beat Isla Juventud on the away um, and then the last sport we have for you today is volleyball first game at eight o'clock there's only two volleyball games we have for you women's game um, the away team Hilta Hallemstad in the Swedish Elite Serien women game. Um, it does look like the volleyball is all away 100% on the two months uh, since the away team has won both their games and the home team has lost both their games. And the home team is battling to score. Away team has got no problem with scoring. So there's a five and a half gap over them. Uh, in volleyball that's huge um, and then Italy Serie A1 women another game for you here um, the last one we have for you today away team again the Navarra women you can see they started head to head with the home team being ahead they finished two years later or the current because this one is two years back and this one is current they finished at the away team minus 3.81 on the linear regression model and the head-to-head -head net is therefore away team is getting stronger head-to-head -head by five and on the RSI the same applies home started with a 0.3 advantage currently away is ahead on a 1.86 advantage net effect away at 2.15 net advantage so all of those things considered Novara woman should beat Kassal Machliora woman um, our editor's picks runs at about 80% plus accuracy, um, sometimes even 90-95% 90, accuracy. So do keep that in mind when you do your, uh, your um, multiples and your Yankees. Um, and look at the odds because these percentages um, is a very good indicator for your odds as well. When you do your percentages, just check your probabilities on percentages as well as points differences. Um, then there's only two IPS picks here for you today. In fact, um, there's only one left here, 10.35. And this is the Zenu team. And then there's 16 greenies as well. These are the automated, completely automated by the algorithms uh, that does this. So have a look at them as well. I've not made all of them editors picks, but uh, I have made some of them if not most of them, editor's picks. Um, but I do look at them a little bit more detail when I actually make them editor's picks because I like to look at the momentum and the curve and all the rest of it.
from a more detailed perspective. Uh, okay, I guess that's it, guys. There's a lot happening. The MVPs, um, please make your MVP so you can see the other people's MVPs. Um, the in play will try and get active for everyone shortly soon. Pretty much what that means is uh, we get the results uh, or the, the score updates within a second of when they happen, which is beautiful because you can quickly see um, in play advantages where there's a, where there's a big advantage for you. Like here's a game where we are saying, well, no, it is up and down, so let's not use that as an example. But simply put, where the score is different to what the prediction is, um, it does then help us to uh, see if there's more value. Um, here's one, maybe. Let's see if that's one. No, it's also up and down lately. Most recently home. So we're saying home should win, but they won all behind at the moment. But it is a close point, 8, eight to 7 on the, on the categories, on the major impact mix. Um, but you do get when the other sports is on as well, then uh, you could get on a Saturday a lot of um, chances to put. Yesterday, let's have a quick look at horse racing. Um, we won everything again yesterday. It's, uh, it's been the norm of late, really, to be quite honest with you, that we're doing really, really well on horse racing. Um, we got had, had greenies all over the place yesterday in Gravel. The first one, it must be love, 140%. The second one didn't seem the light. That was uh, originally not a greenie because we had scratchings that turned it into a greenie. So no one actually played it because the scratchings only came into effect just before the match started or game, the, the race started. Then uh, to the max, 3.3, uh, very nice odds, 330%, also one. And then the best bet, Global Ash, 3.5, actually drifted out to 4.7 and won extremely well as well. So uh, that was an extremely, extremely good day for some of our guys. We've posted on our website the one guy made no less than 45,000 bucks from 1,000 Rand. So maybe well worth looking at uh, horse racing as well um, because we are pretty good at what we do and we'd like you to also make use of it everything is still free um, so do have a look at those as well okay guys I think eyes on tiger is one example of a good uh, pretty decent one today um, and then mode is another one that I like at five to one um, another pretty decent one today that's it from you guys 38 minutes sorry for taking so much time um, have a great day